All right, now we want to show you a double replacement reaction. So a double replacement reaction occurs between two ionic compounds that are in solution. So here I have a solution, meaning dissolved in water, of potassium iodide, Ki. Okay, notice it's a clear and colorless liquid. Here I have a solution of lead to nitrate, also clear and colorless liquid. Two ionic compounds in solution. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit of lead nitrate to my beaker here. Okay. And then I'm going to add some potassium iodide to my beaker and whoa! whoa! So our two clear and colorless liquids form a yellow solid. Now what, if you get real closer you can see that it's a solid that's formed. It didn't just turn into a yellow liquid. You can see chunks that are settling down to the bottom. We call that a precipitate. Now don't confuse that with precipitation like rain coming down. This is a solid precipitate. So the solid precipitate comes out of the solution and settles down to the bottom. So two ionic compounds in solution, mix them together, and you form a solid ionic compound that does not dissolve in water in a double replacement. There you go, James. That was cool. So this is the reaction, lead to nitrate plus potassium iodide, yeah. and it formed um, lead iodide. Lead to iodide. Yep. Mm -hmm. And potassium nitrate. And potassium nitrate, yeah. Now, do we like to write it like this? No, we usually like to write the symbols. Yeah. Because we don't like words. With yeah, we'll teach you how to put all the symbols together in another podcast. This yep. is just so you can identify and know which type is which. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so here's our example. Here's these two couples. They go to the dance, and what do they do? They trade partners. So this guy decides he likes her or her. So they switch, you know, and then he likes her and vice versa. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So that's how it's worked. All right. Fun activity in class? Yeah, we might do this just with them in yeah. class. Yeah. I think we'll do Leave this. space. All right, so leave some space. Hey, one last type. Combustion reaction. Yeah, these are fun. These are very fun. You get to burn things and burn things and burn things. In fact, we'll tell a story about how a student of mine almost burned his face off. Okay. All right, so here's the reactions. They will be a CHO compound or a CHA compound. It's a carbon-hydrogen and possibly oxygen reaction, and it always reacts with... Oxygen. And oxygen always has a... O2. O2, yeah. So watch that. And they form the same two things. These are the easiest ones. If yeah. I, they always make the same two products, carbon dioxide and water. By the way, usually because it's very um, uh, high Hot. energy, these are both gases almost always. Yeah. Now when I say CHO, this could be like CH4, C2H5OH. It could be C6H12O6. See, it has carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen in different ratios. Yes. So. That's it. But it all forms CO2 and H2O. So here, in fact, there's the CH4 plus um, O2 makes CO2 and H2O. In fact, that's the one we're going to use as a demo in just a couple of minutes. All right. Or we can have uh, methanol. This is the one that set me on fire a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. That was not a good thing. No. Uh, yeah, that was. You know those little fuzzy lumps you get on your sweater? You should probably take those off if you're ever going to be around fire. Yeah, because they caught on fire. They catch on fire. Especially if you have methanol on your. No. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> very, very bad. Okay. Hey. I am going to set something on fire! How about we do it now? Let's do it. <laughs> I want to tell you guys a story. An interesting story. Many years ago, I was teaching at another high school. And when I was teaching at that high school, um, I had a student who said, Mr. Bergman, I wonder what this would do. And I about jumped out of my skin when he said, when I saw what he was about to do. I'm going to do what he was about to do much safer than he was about to do this. All right, I happen to have a gas jet right here, and this has uh, got uh, natural gas or methane gas coming out of it. I can turn the gas, and I don't know if you can hear, but it's now hissing. What the student was about to do is he had a, um, this is what he did, is he had a lighter. He was a smoker, and he was like this, and he was says, Mr. Bergman, what would happen if I did this? And he had his face right in front of the, of the gas jet, and um, he had his lighter. Well, I'm not going to put my face right in front of it, as that student did. <laughs> um, he, luckily, I, I screamed loud enough he did not do what I'm about to do. So we're going to do this on a much safer basis. So I'm going to light a match. I don't have a lighter, but I could use a lighter, too. It doesn't matter. And I can go like that. And guess what? I can essentially make a flamethrower. Oh, it went out because I. it's just too much. Now, an interesting thing about this, this is... Uh, is right here. We're producing the gas, but it's not. Why didn't it blow up the pipes? Because it's pressure coming out. Well, it's pressure coming out, and also in the pipes themselves, there is no oxygen. 
the oxygen's only in this room. This is a, the type of reaction called a combustion reaction. It's a CHA or a CHO compound, this is CH4, so it's a CHA compound, reacts with the oxygen which is here in the air to produce carbon dioxide, water, and heat. And I could warm my hands from this or set my face on fire like that student almost did, but I screamed loud enough that he stopped. Didn't you set yourself on fire a couple of years ago, Mr. Bergman? I did, yes. That was a different, it was a liquid. It was methanol, I believe, or ethanol. I can't which one it was. And that was a very unpleasant moment. <laughs> yes, I, I ruined my sweater, which was better than ruining me. So I guess that was good. It was a bad sweater anyhow, wasn't it? Yes, it was kind of nasty. <laughs> but anyways. Okay, so combustion reactions. A, a, a carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, a CHA or CHO compound reacts with oxygen and always forms carbon dioxide and water. Well, guys, that was very cool. That was cool. You know, my Actually, it wasn't cool. It was hot. It was very hot. Yes. My, when I was in eighth grade, um, the heat went out in the science wing in my, in my junior high. Okay. In, yeah, yeah. in northern Wyoming, it was 30 degrees below zero outside. That's cool. It was really cold. So my science teacher went to the back of the room and turned on all the gas jets and lit them all and heated them nice. in the gas jets. But he, yeah, he like said, science you, you don't go best. to the back of the room or, you know, I'll, I'll you know, beat you to a bloody pulp so you don't burn yourself. Nice. Basically, what it, well, down to, that's, that's pretty cool. Mr. cool. Mr. Keith, he was amazing. He's yes. My inspiration. Your inspiration, nice. Yes. You know, I think we're done. I think we're done. So that is the five different types of reactions. Now you're going to try and figure out how to identify them in the you know, in your worksheets. Yep.